Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. You felt it, yes. Another vision. The Force continues to work through us, showing us the star maps unearthed by Revenant Malak. It is strange that anyone would have built a star map here. The entire surface of Manan is covered by nothing but vast oceans. The ocean floor is vast, and much of it is uncharted, even by the native Selkarth. But how could Revenant Malak have found their way down? No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Yes, what's on your mind? I'm not really sure. How can I help? I wish I could help you with... Yeah, what do you want? We fought against the Republic forces for some time, over the course of many battles. At the start, they were not much of a threat to speak of. But once the Jedi Revan took charge, things began to turn against us. The Republic fleets began to use more than just basic tactics. Feints, counterattacks, mass deceptions. Revan was a genius on the field. Revan abandoned worlds of their defenders so that others would be too fortified to strike and was willing to make sacrifices in order to advance goals. And in the end, Revan proved too much for us. The Sith had gone, retreated into their empire. They sealed themselves off from the rest of the galaxy. We thought it would be centuries before they'd come back. It's amazing that they could rebuild their fleet so fast. But at the time, it looked like the galaxy was in our grasp. I still remember that final battle in the skies above Malachor V. The two fleets filling the space around it, outshining the stars. It was not your ships, or your men, or your vaunted fight for freedom that won this, the final battle of the war. It was by the actions of one person the Jedi Revan, that you prevailed. His strategies and tactics defeated the best of us. Even Mandalore himself was taken aback by the ferocity of his attacks, the tenacity of his defenses, and the subtleties of his plans. He fought us to a standstill, and then began pushing back. We really didn't have a chance. It was what we had wanted all along, in a way. We wanted to fight the best, in a battle that would be remembered for centuries. And we did. And Revan won. I don't hold a grudge against Revan, and neither do any of my people. It was the greatest moment of my life to be in that battle. If Revan had been a Mandalorian, nothing in the galaxy would have stopped us.
But wishing for the past to be different is useless. Better look to the future, as we should now. We'll talk more later, I think. Is there something else? Hey, don't worry. I think you've got enough there as it is. A real warrior knows there anything else. The war we had with the Republic was supposed to be the most glorious battle in our history. But it was a very costly one. I guess we didn't think of how much we could lose in it. There weren't many of us after that last battle. Mandalore himself was killed at the hands of the Jedi Revan. The best of us could not defeat him. After that last battle, those of us that survived were stripped of our weapons, our armor, and our basilisks. Revan's forces destroyed them while we were forced to watch. Those who hadn't fled earlier were left with nothing to call their own. No weapons, no armor, only the honor of having fought in the battle we just lost. For many, this was not enough. While the rest of us were sent into exile on the Outer Rim, they tried to relive the old days, raiding worlds. They're nothing more than bandits now. Yeah, I found word on Taris. And forcing for Davik was not stimulating. The gangs on Terrace and Davik's rivals were trash. They give no thrill in battle, no honor or glory in defeating them. It was like stepping on bugs. I sought worthy challenges, but the best that Terrace could offer were nothing to me. But I think now, with you, I may finally find opponents worth fighting. Maybe later I'll tell you more about what it was like to work for Davik. Is there something else? Hey, a real- There any- Water worlds never- The thing this world is good for is a sub- But the Mandalore are not as weak and fragile as your Republic and Sith warriors. When we enter a battle, both in our wars, you have anything else? Your choice. Yeah, what do you want? So deal with it. Why are you... Yeah, what do you want? Your choice. Yeah, what do you want? Your choice. Public people are so pathetic, sitting around groveling at the table scraps that the Galactic Senators deign to give you. It makes me sick. The Senators work for the good of the whole galaxy, not for individual gain. Ha! Don't make me laugh, you gutless simp. It's the destiny of weak-minded fools like you to be ruled over by the strong, like we Sith. I'm warning you. Don't push me or you'll get just what you're asking for. Try it. Just try it. I'd love to see you throw the first punch. And with all the cameras around, the Cellcath would be all over you inside of 30 seconds. You break them. If you ever feel like relieving yourself of your worthless existence, feel free to come by our enclave here. We have many, many ways to fulfill your wish. <sighs> yeah, what are you... Oh. I apologize, Master Jedi. I should not have been rude. Well, these damn Sith are everywhere on Manan, pushing us Republic citizens around, trying to goad us into breaking the law somewhere. Yeah, the Selkath want to maintain their neutrality in this war we're fighting with the Sith, and they enforce it very strictly. So, we just have to sit here and let the Sith insult us, and we can't raise a hand against them. Otherwise, the Republic will face severe Kolto export restrictions. And that could lose us the war altogether. A star map? Like an ancient artifact or something? 
No, I'm, I'm sorry, I've never heard of it. Is there anything else I can... Of course. If you have any other questions, you should probably see Roland Wan. He's the Republic diplomat here. He's by the Republic Enclave, near the visitor residences. Oh, if you don't know where that is, go north from here, then south past the port official in the first courtyard, east into the second courtyard, then north, then east again. You got that? Have a pleasant stay, Master Jedi. Yeah, I can't talk now. I've got to get this call. If you have any other questions, you should... Karth! Karth Onesi, is that you? Jordo? It is you, isn't it? I knew it when I laid eyes on you. You old space dog. How have you been? I thought for sure you'd be fighting on some ship out there. I was. I crashed. <laughs> That's pretty rich. I can't imagine what it would take to keep you on the ground. Must have something to do with your friend here, eh? How's it going? Sure am. We joined the militia together back on Telos. That was a lot of years ago, of course. So what are you doing here, Jordo? Last time I saw you was on, uh, well, Telos, actually. Yeah, it's a shame about home. Telos still hasn't recovered. The family and I moved on, and I'm working for Zerka now. I didn't see you after... Uh, what I mean is, my condolences on your wife. I heard what happened. At least your boy made it through all right. My boy? Y you mean Dustal? Yes, of course. I saw him at my last stop on Korriban, though he didn't recognize me. You didn't know he was there? No. Jordo, Dustal's been missing since the attack on Telos. Are you, are you absolutely certain it was him? Yeah, I'd recognize Dustal anywhere. Positive. He's, um, he's joined the Sith, Garth. What do you mean he's joined the Sith? There's an academy for the Sith on Korriban. He's a student there. I saw him suited up in their outfit and everything. Sorry, I thought you knew. No, no, I, I didn't. Well, thanks for telling me, Jordo. Sure, no, no problem. Good to see you again, Karth. Hope everything works out with Dustal. Dustal? Dustal is alive. We, we have to go to the Korriban Academy and find him. Thank you. I, I, I just have to see him. I have to know what happened to him. All this time I thought he was... I mean, he must be a man by now. Yeah, what do you want? Your...
Yeah, what do you want? Your choice. Proper culture training permits. So back off. Ah, so we meet again, Candorous. It has been quite a long time. Joggy? He... he was a warrior under my command up to the Battle of Althir. But I thought... You thought I was dead, didn't you? You thought all of us that you had sent on that attack had perished. You sent us to die in a foolish attack, while you directed your forces elsewhere. You broke from the battle plan and let us die for it so that you could have the honor of being the first to kill the enemy commander. I alone realized what was happening, and managed to escape the trap before it closed. The trap he set for his own men! I... I did what was prudent at the time. If I had not done it, the battle would have... The battle would have been won anyway. I am tired of your excuses, Candorous. I have spent years tracking you down since the clans were banished. And I will not rest until I've had my vengeance. I am not afraid of you. And if you choose, you can die by his side as well. I challenge you, Kendris. I challenge you to fight the fight you fled that day above Althir, in the doomed seas of Tatooine. I will be waiting for you. I have spread the news of the challenge since I learned you had landed on this world. All the surviving Mandalorian clans know of what I do here, and that we shall meet on Tatooine to settle this debt of vengeance once and for all. If you fail to meet me there, you shall be stripped of all honor and forever cast out of our society. It will be you and me alone in the doom seas of Tatooine, a final battle that can only end in death. I shall be waiting for you there, Kendris. Hey, 
yami juski chika nai hong pato hako chicho oska
I've been given a challenge. This is between me and Jagi. You don't have to get involved. If you're lucky, he might spill something before I spread him in a paste over the dunes. Republic's days are numbered. It won't be long until Malak turns his armada loose on Coruscant itself. Save your empty threats, Sith scum. Malak isn't stupid enough to attack the core worlds, now with the entire Republic fleet waiting for him. You're a fool. When the Sith descend on Coruscant, our numbers will block out the sun itself. The galactic senators will collapse trembling in fear and beg for mercy at Malak's feet. You underestimate the Republic's resolve. We'll die before we surrender Coruscant. That can be arranged. Remember what happened to Taris. Malak could do the same to the core worlds. He wouldn't dare. Now it is you who underestimate our resolve. Tongi Uchuapenki
Potong itu mama aki tuko tune. Potong itu mama aki. Iska dosoki kopa bono nakachu. Potong itu mama aki tuko tune. Potong itu mama aki. Aki iska dosoki kopa bono nakachu. Labora na wiki smak. Potong itu mama aki tuko tune. ポトンキドワマアキクトトンパキスカドソキコパボノナカチュラボラナウィキストンキドワマアキクトトネポトンキドワマアキクトトンパキスカドソキコパポトンキドワマアキクトトネ ポトンキドワマアキクトトネポトンキドワマアキクトトネポトンキドワマアキクトトネポトンキドワマアキクトトネポトンキドワマアキクトトネポトンキドワマアキクトトネポトンキドワマアキクトトネポトンキドワマア
The Sith base itself. Here is a pass card to get you. You can choose whichever of the. Good call. I wish you luck in your task. I'm sorry, I'm on duty, citizen. Please refer any questions to our diplomatic corps. Thank you. So, you're the one Roland has got to help us interrogate this prisoner. He's a Sith spy we picked up a little... But it seems the Sith... The Sith protect their really important spies with some... Combine this with conventional training to resist interrogation, and sometimes it takes... Do you want... Well, the training the Sith gave him will protect him from most normal interrogation techniques, and also from force persuasion. He was with another man when he was first spotted. We think it... We also seized some personal documents he had on him when he was captured. We checked this in our computers, and it seems to hold up. We've sent a couple of agents... Okay, but you should know what we have to... What we have here is your standard issue. Because of his conditioning, he's... If you do that... It causes short-term memory loss. Shall we get it? Hey, you! Wake up! Ugh. Oh. You're not. Uh, you... Ha! <laughs> Worth my while. The Sith don't pay very well, but they'd kill me. The Sith will never trust you again, Spy. We're the only place you have left. T never! I am Sith! I will never- There's nothing you can do- Or- Or- What companion? The gutless Sith worm is already starting to crack. He wouldn't talk! Or has he already? No! Of course, they would never believe we let you go so easily, but they would all too happily believe you betrayed them. The Sith are not that... But he... I... I... Oh. 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 What? Tila? No, please don't... No, please don't hurt her. Please. You think bribes will... Oh. Uh. Uh. Oh. 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 The gutless Sith worm. Ha! Ah. Of course, they would never... This... Oh. You're not. The Sith will never trust you again, Spy. But they... They... Oh. Uh. Uh. Oh. What? It... It... No! Please! No! Please! Oh. Uh. Uh. Uh, uh, what do you want? Uh, 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 what do you want? What? Nothing you could do to us. You got this. Ha! Uh, 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 uh. Yes. No, please don't hurt her. Please. All right. All right. I'll tell you what you want to know. What's the passcode to the Sith base? It's... It's Zeta 245698 Alpha. Just no more.
Good. With this pass, you should be able to get into the Sith base without trouble. Just don't delay too long, or they might learn that he's been captured. Chopa Chawa Wisyun Kun. Chiwi Ai. Chiska Nichu. Kimba Muli Rab wanna G. The Hoopa Botania go GG. The Hoopa Botania go GG Pit. The Hoopa Botania go G. Chiwi Aita Kan Kichana Chiwi Aita Kan 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 Chiwi Aita